the ideas, his style was Marxist-Leninist, Mao's style was Marxist-Leninist, but that he was accessible to the lower classes because of his use of homilies. And the example would be that the hardest thing is to act properly throughout one's whole life. What the hell does that mean? Or even worse, an army. No, I just couldn't imagine who it was. Joey here? Who's Joey? Joey's in the shower. Can I get you anything? Oh, just some coffee if you don't mind. All right, it's no trouble at all. I think I found a very nice boss for the foyer. Uh -huh. You'll probably think it's an extravagance, but it's not, all things considered. These pieces are becoming increasingly rare. Isn't that exquisite? I hope you like it because it's perfect for what I have in mind for the foyer. We already have a vase in the foyer, Eve. Yes, but this will never look right when we redo the floors. I've never understood why the floors have to be redone. What? We discussed all that, Michael, don't you remember? You agree. You know, it costs money to have these things done and redone two and three times over. But the... It's such a large floor space. That's why we agreed that the paler tones would make a more subtle statement. The pale woods would be lovely. I never agreed about anything. I'm always being told. Well, I wouldn't put it that way. Well, how would you put it, Eve? I mean, first the living room was finished, then it wasn't. Then the uh, bedroom needed more work. Now the floors have to be stripped again. You picked the sofa, then you hated it. It was a lovely piece. It just was the wrong scale, that's all. This is not an exact science. Sometimes you just have to see it. And you get the feel of it. You didn't like that in the bedroom? I knew you were going to say something. I get better use out of it here. Well, if you utilize it in here, that's fine. It's meant to be used. It's just that it was part of what we were trying to do in the bedroom. It's the shade and the bedspread. They set each other off so nicely, I thought. How much is the vase? Uh, they're asking $400. Uh, give me a break, Eve. All right, Michael, I'll return it. Would you mind closing the window? Street noises are just unnerving. I hope you two aren't having another argument. Not at all. Oh, I love that suit. It's a unique color. Renata calls it ice gray. It makes you look very beautiful. Isn't she beautiful, Michael? Very lovely. I don't feel lovely. I'm exhausted. I've been running up and down Second Avenue all day. Oh, wow. Is this for us? It's exquisite. No, I was just showing it to Michael. It's too expensive, Joey. Really? No, that's too bad. Eve, let's keep it. No, no, no. Yeah, let's keep it. It's, it's very beautiful. We'll work something out. No, I was just carried away by it. I don't know why. Yes, because it's so unique. But it is an extravagance. I'll just look for something along the same lines at a better price. But I have to point out one thing. This really belongs in the bedroom because it's too insignificant a piece for in here. The shade is just wrong against all these slick surfaces. I'll put it back. No, I'll do it. I just want to try it in a different spot in there. I can fix something more, uh, something more inexpensive. I've seen some nice pewters and they've done that. And I can make the shade in a smoother fabric if you prefer. But we should stick with my beiges and my earth. Beige is my earth tone. Stop picking on her. Nobody's picking on her. She's a sick woman. That's great. Yes, it's nice. So, uh, how do you feel? I'm fine. I'm just a little tired, that's all. Coffee. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So many jobs. It's just exhausting. Yeah, I know. I don't. I can't get over how you sort of jump right in and do it. Well, I like it. I like to be busy. And I think by now I can say that my comeback is over the shaky period. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? I think so. I think your work is better, in fact, than it's ever been. Do you? 
Yeah. Well, I have to admit that I have received some rather special compliments lately. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yes, well, my spirits are high. I'm, I'm feeling good about myself. I'd say I don't run into an occasional setback, but I haven't really felt so confident in a long time. I can see it. I mean, you look better than you have in ages. Oh. Oh, have you talked to Dad lately? No. I'm still in Greece. Mm. Well, when he comes back, I hope he'll corroborate the state of my well-being. Of course. I pull, certainly pulled myself together in a way that he never thought possible. Mm -mm. I mean, you're really impressive. Oh. Well, maybe a reconciliation could finally be discussed. Think so? Well, I mean, it hasn't been that much time. I really don't, I don't know. always so negative about it. I don't think that was negative. No, you're always reluctant to encourage me. I don't know why. Mother, I know that you're optimistic, but it's really important for you to be realistic, too. Oh, is there something you know that you're not saying? No. Well, Dr. LaBelle doesn't think it's unrealistic. I hope that your father and I might reconcile. This is the goal, that's all. Fine, I didn't say it. anything to uh, get in the way of that. Just always make it sound as though it's impossible. Mother, I didn't say it was impossible. Yes, you did. You implied that a lot. Renata thinks it's going to happen. I'm sure she didn't say that. Yes, she did. She implied that. Well, maybe you read into what no, she said. No, I didn't. She's just a person who looks on the bright side. Oh, great. I think that's wonderful. I just don't think you should delude yourself either. Oh, you don't think there's any chance that your father will ever want to live with me again? I didn't say that. I well, really... Renata thinks that there's a good chance. Just wait and see. You just refuse to encourage me, don't you? Why don't you discuss it with Renata? I will, thank you. I will. 